Well, hi, everybody. Uh, the cold front that has everybody else in North America freezing right now has reached Florida, so it's too cold to do a video outside. So today I'm going to do the video inside. So get ready for this week's video. Hi everybody. Well, today I want to start off by uh, reading you something that was posted on the internet because I want to talk about it. And so let me read it to you. Uh, this person is saying, starts right here, quote, unquote, The Old Testament was fulfilled at the cross, but the end does not come until the gospel is preached to the whole world. Matthew 24, 14. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world, or in the whole world, as a testimony to all nations, and then the end will come. And uh, so I want to talk about, first of all, what the intent of the poster is, because they've posted similar things before. What they're saying is they believe that we in the Gospel Revolution, what we're saying is true, that the Old Testament was fulfilled at the cross. But the end didn't come. And the end didn't come until sometime later. Now, this person has been inclined to believe that the end came in 70 AD. And... But also, if you think about modern Christianity, they think, they think some things were fulfilled at the cross, but not all things were fulfilled at the cross. And the end, indeed, will not be uh, fulfilled until every person on earth has heard the gospel in every nook and cranny around the globe. That's not what it means either. So let's talk about the world, the, the word that was used there for the word world. Um, the word Jesus was using when he said that this gospel would be preached uh, to all the world um, that was that word means is oikumeni in the Greek, and it means the Greek speaking word specifically the Roman Empire, and uh, got Jesus gospel, which is, which he says here is his, is of the kingdom, the gospel of the kingdom, the kingdom of God was at hand. Um, that was his gospel. He he sent his disciples out two by two everywhere to preach. The kingdom was at hand. And it was definitely heard around the Roman world. And Paul even confirms that in Romans chapter 10. He said their voice was heard throughout the world. And he uses the same word for world, oikumeni, meaning the Roman Empire. So, yes, it was done. And it was done through Jesus and his disciples while Jesus was walking the earth. Now, that, that word fulfillment that the poster is using, he says that um, the Old Testament was fulfilled at the cross, but the end didn't come. Well, the end was prophesied by the Old Testament. So it had to come, otherwise the Old Testament wasn't fulfilled. And the, thing, the funny thing about the Old Testament is it has to be fulfilled all at once. There can't be something left over to be fulfilled later. It has to be done all at once. Jesus said he came not to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. And then he went on to explain that he came to fulfill the law and the prophets. And the word he used for destroy was a word that means fragment. He didn't come to fulfill part of the law and leave a fragment of it undone until a later time sometime. No, he came to fulfill the law and the prophets, and they all had to be fulfilled all at once, all together, nothing left out completely, and that way they would end. And once, they, once that was fulfilled, the old covenant, covenant was ended, and the new covenant was established. So, um, no fulfillment, no no, no little thing left out until 70 AD or sometime in the future from, from now. No, there can be nothing undone if there was anything at all fulfilled at that cross. If there was even one thing fulfilled at that cross, truly fulfilled, it all had to be fulfilled. It's all or nothing. The law was all or nothing. The prophets are all or nothing. God is all or nothing. And this gospel is all or nothing. And it's for all. <laughs> And nobody was left out. I know it's revolutionary, folks. And chew on it and have a revolutionary week.